The Work Items tab in Azure DevOps allows you to easily see different subsets of work items depending on which view you are currently using. You can select your view up at the top, and right now the work items that we're seeing displayed on the screen are from our recently updated view. We could select the different views that are by default assigned to me, following, mentioned, your activity, as well as these other recently changed, updated, completed, and created views. And by selecting any of these different views, we can easily see those work items that are attached. We can also use the work items view to go ahead and build new work items simply by selecting new work item, choosing the type of work item we'd like to create, and then building the work item from here. We can see in this window that we could fill in any of the information about our work item, and we can return to the work items tab by using back to work items. If we'd like to build a query that helps us see exactly how we're pulling in this information, we can go to any of the views and simply go open in queries. From the queries tab, we could go ahead and save this query for use in any of the other modules, including those added by modern requirements. And finally, while in the work items tab, you can adjust the columns that you're seeing by using the column options button here in the menu. In the column options, you can go ahead and choose how you would like to sort the work items that are being displayed, as well as which columns you would like to show inside the work items interface. You can also filter your requirements so that you can choose certain requirements by type that are in specific states or areas, as well as by keyword over on the left. You can even visit the recycle bin, which will show you all of the work items that you've deleted from your project.